Singapore plays host to about 700,000 foreign workers who are employed here on work permits. About 80% of them work in the construction, manufacturing and service industries. In this second episode of Working in Singapore, we'll continue to take a look at employment scenarios that are serious violations of the Employment of Foreign Manpower Act. Can work pass holders hold a second job to complement their income? Can an employer continue to validate the work permits of his foreign workers even when he no longer requires them? Find out more in the upcoming stories. Come in. Are you looking for us, boss? Boss. Uh, yes, please take a seat. Unfortunately, we don't have any projects lined up after this. There are too many workers on site. Therefore, the company has decided to send both of you home. Huh? Uh, boss, how can you do this? We have been here for half a year. Yes, yes. But is there any way we can stay a little uh, longer, boss? Please. Huh? Sorry, it's really impossible. But the company will pay for your tickets to go home. Don't worry about that. You may leave now. Hmm. Hua Chiang, we are in great trouble. Without money and job, how to face our families? It's okay. We can always look for a job elsewhere. There are so many construction sites that will be jobs. But is it legal to do that? There's no time to worry about that, Xiao Chen. The important thing is to earn money while we are here. Ah, oh, you're right. Hey, Hua Chiang, Xiao Chen. Hey, Xiong Ge. What happened? Did the foreman tell you off again? Our boss informed us that they aren't any new projects, so he's sending us back. Huh? How can he do that? Exactly. He said there's too many workers. So, what can we do now? Uh, why don't you ask your boss to continue validating your work permits while you look for another job? That way, you can still stay here. Hey, Sugar, that's a good idea. I told you, we should just find our own employment. Uh, can we do that? I heard we can't work for another company. Ayah, Xiao Chen. If Xiong Ge thinks it's alright, then it should be alright. <laughs> Xiong Ge, uh, do you have any jobs to recommend us? Uh, there is a Mr. Teo who is always looking for more workers and he pays quite well too, about $100 a day. Hey, just sort it out with your boss first. They go ask Mr. Teo for the job, alright? Just tell him you are recommended by me, huh? Sure. Thank you, Xiong Ge. I knew you would have a solution in mind. Hey, hey, hey. But are you sure this will work? Of course it will. Just give it a try. If it doesn't work, come to me again. I'll think of something else. Ah, yes, Xiao Chen. Make up your mind. Let's go and talk to the boss tomorrow morning. And then after that, we'll go to the place Xiong Ge recommended to us. Alright, alright. Thank you, Xiong <laughs> <Sunga>. Ge. <laughs> Come Thank on, you. we are Thank brothers. You. Yeah. What's that? Oh, Take my drink. Oh, huh? oh yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Xiong Ge. Hey, hi, boss. Hi, boss. You again. Uh, hey. Boss, uh, we have a suggestion. Uh, please see if it works. I have already said that there is no work for you to do here, so pack your bags and be ready to go home next week. Uh, 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 boss, please validate our work permits. We'll just find our own jobs. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we have someone else uh, helping us out. <laughs> no, I don't think it's going to work. I would still have to pay for your levies every month. No way. You better leave. No way. Sorry. Uh, uh, what if we pay for our own levies? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> How about that, boss? <laughs> yes. Well, in that case... Hmm... All right. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I'll collect $550 from you every month huh? to help you keep your work permits valid. Okay? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you, boss. Okay. Boss, thank That's you. great. All right. <laughs> Thanks. 
Hmm. <laughs> ah, Xiong, you're so capable. Uh, Thanks to you, both of them fell straight into our trap. Well, all I did was say a few words to them. You're the real genius behind this. <laughs> you will also make a profit of a few hundred each month, right? Hey, you'll get a share too. And you're also getting a commission on Mr. Teo, right? Uh, you'll be rich very soon. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, enough talking. Let's drink. All right. Come on. Hey, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Let's get rich together, okay? Yes, cheers. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Hello, uh, are you Mr. Teo? Hello. <laughs> yes, who are you? Oh, Xiong recommended us here. We are looking for a job. You are friends of Xiong uh, Yes. Uh, you uh, have work permits? Oh, yes, 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 yes of, of course, of course. Uh, this, is uh, my, this is my permit. Uh, I will give you 100 per day. When can you start? Oh, uh, right, can you start immediately. Yeah, sure. No problem. Anytime. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, boss. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Our intel tells us that Can & Can Construction Private Limited's boss, Kenny Can, has been collecting money from some of his workers every month to cover their levy charges in the name of maintaining the validity of their work permits. Intel also shows that he's working with a Singapore PR from China, Chen Xiong, who is earning money by arranging jobs for foreign workers despite not having an agent license. We also have information on the foreign workers who are illegally employed. They are Chen De and Hua Qiang. Team May and I will proceed to the construction site to arrest Chen De, Hua Qiang, and their current employer, Tio Chan Heng. We have also received a tip off that Kenny and Chen Xiong will be meeting up at the Canon Can office later. Team B will go to K and K. Move out in five. Hey, how's hey. everything? Ah, it's okay. Are you Chen De and Hua Qiang? Huh? We are from huh? MOM. You are supposed to be working for Ken and Ken Construction. Why are you here? Run! Hey. Hey. Don't move. We have reasons to believe you are working illegally. We are placing you under arrest to assist in our investigation. <laughs> Hi, we are from MOM, and we would like to know if you are Mr. Teo Chanheng. Yes. We have enough evidence to prove that you have illegal employees working for your construction site. You are now under arrest for this illegal act. Please stand up. And you have to come with us. Hey, you should open a barbecue stall when you go back to Xinjiang. <laughs> Are you Kenny Khan? Yes, I am. I'm SIO Sharabin Chan from MOM. We have already arrested two of your workers. They were illegally working for another company. You collected money from them illegally to pay their levy so they can retain their work permits. We are placing you under arrest. Stand up. Are you Chen Xiong? I'm SIO Zheng from MOM. You are under arrest for acting as an employment agent without a license. Stand up. For recovering the levies from his workers to keep their work permits valid, Kenny has committed an infringement under the Employment of Foreign Manpower Act. It's against the law for employers to make workers pay for employment-related costs, such as foreign worker levy. Kenny is liable to a financial penalty not exceeding $20,000 per charge, 
In addition, for releasing his workers to seek their own employment, he is liable to a fine not exceeding $10,000 or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 12 months or to both per charge. For employing the workers without valid work passes, Mr. Teo will also be charged with illegal employment and be liable to a fine of not less than $5,000 and not more than $30,000 or imprisonment not exceeding 12 months or to both per charge. For working for another employer, Chen De and Hua Qiang will also be charged with working without a valid work pass and are liable to a fine not exceeding $20,000 or imprisonment not exceeding two years or to both per charge. For acting as an unlicensed employment agent, Chen Xiong is liable to a fine not exceeding $80,000 or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years or to both per charge. For some foreign workers, the temptation to earn a little extra money exists, but is doing a part-time job during their free time legal? So far, so good. It's a new pub and we're short of staff, so I'm very busy doing most of the things myself. I just finished pasting an advertisement for my boss because she really needs to hire more staff for the pub. Oh no. Well, that must have been tiring. Yes, very much. I'm very busy doing most of the things myself because we're short on staff. Oh, you have vacancies at the pub? Yeah, there is. For now. Anyway, I gotta go now and do some other stuff. Tell you what, why don't we meet and catch up on Sunday? Oh, okay. I'll see you Sunday. Maria, huh? the boss needs the documents now. Okay, I'm coming. Hello. Hey, how, how are, are you? <laughs> wow, it's been so difficult to meet up with you this past few days. Yeah, I know. Well, at least we can sometimes chat on the phone. That's true. Oh, and by the way, I still remember the other day what you told me. About the vacancies at where you're working now. Oh, yes, yes. Why? Are you interested? Um, sort of. But I have a day job already. And I remember hearing that it's illegal to work part-time. Oh, well, that. I'm not sure. But if you want, my boss is still hiring part-time waitresses. Oh. And the pay is not bad. Really? And when do you think I can... I can start? Why don't you just come over our pub this evening? and talk to my boss first. Okay, great. I'll see you this evening then. But first, let's order something to eat. I'm really hungry. Oh, okay. So what did you order? Hi, Mrs. Tan. This is my friend Maria. We came here together from the Philippines. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Tan. Elona told me that you are interested in working for us. Yes. Um, can you tell me more about the job? Sure, come. Well, the working hours are from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. on weekdays and 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. I pay $10 per hour. Do you have a work permit? Yes, actually, I'm an S-Pass holder. And I actually have an admin job for an advertising company here. So I can only work on a part-time basis. I hope that's okay with you. Steven? Hey, what's the matter? She has S-Pass and works as an admin officer in the day. Can she help us out at night? No problem at all. If you got an S pass, no worries. The only thing I have to worry about is whether you can remember all the billions I've got here. <laughs> Steven is in charge of hiring. If he says it's okay, it should be fine. Okay, thank you. Alona? <laughs> can you show her around? 
Okay. Okay, excuse me. So this here, by the way, is our pool table, and sometimes they even hold some games here. Lots of people come here to participate in them. And sometimes mm -hmm. we will even organize events here, and they can just post their statistics over mm -hmm. there. And then, by the end of the month, they would start the competitions for our patrons. Do you still know how to play pool like before? Well, I did used to play, but I don't play that much anymore. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, let me show you the bar area. Okay. This is our bar area. We serve mm -hmm. beer, as you can see, and we have uh -huh. different types of liquor here. There are different kinds of mixes, as well as where the customers can choose from. Mm. And we also have tea machines and a coffee maker, mm -hmm. which I will teach you how to use later. Mm -hmm. So okay. for now, let's check the kitchen. All right. So this is our kitchen. We usually serve snacks, but we have salad and burgers. Mm -hmm. We also have sandwiches. Okay. So there is our fridge. We mm -hmm. also have new colleagues. I'll introduce oh. you to them. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ramesh. Hi, Mutu. Um, this Hi. is Maria, Hi. our new colleague. Hello. So I will see you around. Okay. <laughs> so don't worry that much, Maria. It should be fine. I think so too. And Mrs. Tan seems okay. Just do your best. You can do it. Hey, Maria. I bet you met Ramesh and Mutu. They both had the S-Pass in construction work and they're working here part-time as well. Oh, I see. Welcome to the family. Thank you, and I'll work hard and do my best. Great! <laughs> Hi, Maria. Are you a part-timer? Yes, but I do have a full-time job. But I need to earn more money. How about you? Are you a part-timer also? Oh, me and Ramesh, we work in construction. Uh, mm. We wash dishes here as part-time. We need some extra money. We have been here for a month. But we must be careful, because we may get caught for doing our part-time job. We are not supposed to work part-time, but never mind. I don't think we will be so unlucky. Yes, we just have to be discreet about it. And since we already have work passes for our day jobs, it shouldn't matter even if we work on a part-time basis. We're not doing anything wrong, right? No. <laughs> Maria? Yes, Mrs. Tan? This is for the week. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Tan. I'm Sherwin Chan from the Ministry of Manpower. Is the boss around? She's over there. Boss, someone's looking for you. Hi, I'm Sherwin Chan from the Ministry of Manpower. Are you the owner of this place? Yes, I am. May I help you? Uh, it's just a routine check. Could you gather all your stuff outside here? Sure, no problem. Steven, please ask all the staff to come out. Thank you. May I have your work permit? Your name, please? Mutu Hukka. And who pays your salary? Uh, the lady boss. Lady boss. How long have you been working here? Just last week. One week ago. So you're an employee of this place? Yes, I am. Have you seen a two of them working here? Oh, yes. Okay. okay. You may go back to work. Okay, thank you. Where's the registry? Are these all your stuff? Yes, most of them are part-timers as I only really need people to work the night shift. They all have valid work permits. What's the matter? Do you know that employing them is actually illegal? They need to have a valid work pass to work for you. Work pass holders are not allowed to work part-time for other employers. Really? We are not breaking the law. Stephen, right? I... Mrs. Stan, Stephen, Please come with us to assist in our investigations. For working part-time for another employer, foreign workers are liable to a fine not exceeding $20,000 or imprisonment not exceeding two years or to both per charge. 
Employers guilty of illegal employment are liable to a fine of not less than $5,000 and not more than $30,000 or imprisonment not exceeding 12 months or to both per charge. As the HR manager responsible for recruiting the workers, Stephen is liable to a fine of not less than $5,000 and not more than $30,000 or imprisonment not exceeding 12 months or both per charge. Foreign workers can only work for the employer specified on their work passes. They are not allowed to seek their own employment or work for another employer. The Employment of Foreign Manpower Act requires employment costs such as levies, security deposits and premiums for mandatory medical insurance to be borne by employers. Employers who pass on such costs to workers will face severe penalties. Apart from financial penalties, employers will be barred from hiring foreign workers and workers could be sent home and barred from employment in Singapore. If you are a foreign worker, and have some doubts about your employment situation, you should approach the Ministry of Manpower for advice and assistance. For more information on the employment of foreigners in Singapore, please visit the MOM website at www.mom.gov.sg. We've now come to the end of the programme. Thank you for watching.